Hello and welcome to Cinder. In this video, you will learn how to connect Shopify and its payment gateways to your accounting for quick reconciliation, automatic data sync, and detailed reporting. In the first part of the video, we'll go through the connection process. The second part will cover the reconciliation flow with Cinder and how to make sure your profit and loss report is updated properly. In the last part, you will see how to tailor Cinder's setup to your specific accounting flow. Once you sign up to Cinder, tell us about your business filling out the needed fields. You can connect one accounting platform within one organization, so if you have multiple clients or businesses, you will be able to create more organizations later. On the next step, you are to select your accounting system, zero in this case, and Shopify with all of the payment gateways you accept customer payments through. No worries, there will be no duplicates. Only by having all of the platforms connected, Cinder will be able to properly synchronize data to your accounting. Click View All Processors to see the full list of supported platforms. Now let's connect all platforms we chose on the previous step. For Zero, click Connect, enter credentials if requested, and select the needed company from the list if you have several. You will proceed to connect with Shopify. Paste the name of your store and click Connect. Please note that if you're not an account owner, you can always invite the admin to enter valid credentials and finish the connection for you by clicking this Invite button. Next, select your business checking account for smooth reconciliation. Click Continue to move on and connect the rest of the platforms using credentials and granting permissions. Remember, if some platforms remain not connected, you will not be able to see or synchronize some of your Shopify orders. That is it. Now click Create Account and let Cinder prepare it for the trial. It is important to test the synchronization flow first. Check the results in your accounting and make sure all data is recorded correctly. Cinder will automatically import some latest transactions from connected payment processors for testing. To sync your first transaction, just click the Ready to Sync button. Once the status in the sync log turns green and says Synced, you will be able to open created records by clicking Show in Zero. Since this particular order was paid through Stripe, and Stripe has only very basic information about it, Cinder will also check Shopify for more details about this particular sale and record all of them in your accounting. That is why it is important to have both the e-commerce store and a relevant payment gateway connected to Cinder. As you can see in this example, all of the details about this Shopify order are recorded. Customer information, product names, quantities, totals, and taxes. Processing fees are recorded as a separate transaction in your books. By default, Cinder will try to recognize the products mentioned in your payment system and match them to the items you have set up in accounting by product names or SKUs. So your sales will be automatically categorized by income accounts assigned to certain products in Zero. That is why it is important to check whether everything is correct in your products list before putting Cinder on autopilot. The inventory will also be updated if you're tracking it, so all of your reports will be clear and up to date. For example, the profit and loss report or income statement showing the breakdown by income categories. If you notice that some details about your transactions were not recorded correctly, you can easily fix this by going back to Cinder and clicking the rollback sync button. This will make sure your transaction is deleted from the books and you can go to settings, change them to your liking and sync the transaction again for the correct results. Now let's take a look at how Cinder allows you to reconcile your online income and accounting in just one click. For demonstration, I select all of the needed transactions in the list, click the green Sync button and select Sync. All of the individual transactions, sales, expenses, refunds, fees, and so on, will be recorded in a clearing account that Cinder automatically creates in your books for each connected platform. Such a clearing account represents the actual payment system you're using to receive money from customers. Since I accept payments through Stripe, these transactions have landed in Stripe bank account by default. If you're also accepting payments through Shopify Payments, check Shopify Bank Account in your chart of accounts. Such sales will go there. Now let's go back to Cinder and synchronize the payout, a bulk money transfer that your Shopify or its payment gateway sends to your actual bank once in a while. Each time that happens, Cinder records a transfer of funds from the clearing account to the checking account we selected on the connection step. This helps to reflect the real life money flow and reconcile your books. Note that the ending balance of the clearing account should be equal to the actual balance of your payment system at the moment. This is a great way to check whether the integration is working properly. And if you get to reconciling your checking account now, you will see that the bank feed line has been automatically pre-matched. 
The transfer that Cinder has just recorded is highlighted green. The only thing you need to do now is to click OK. That's how Cinder helps you reconcile your online income in just one click. We understand that each accounting flow is different, and Cinder allows you to tailor the syncing process just for your specific needs. Go to Settings, click Configure under the payment platform you want to set up, as each platform is configured separately, and check the options that are available there. Cinder can automatically reconcile individual transactions in the clearing account. You can choose to tell Cinder to do or not do this with the help of this setting. By default, Cinder will try to find a matching product in your books by name or SKU, or create a new one if unavailable. But if you don't need that information, enable generic product in settings, and all of your sales will show up under one product name and one income account. Same goes for customer details. Turn on generic customer sync depending on your preference. Product mapping is another feature you can use if the names of your products are different in Shopify and Xero, but you need the system to find the match anyways. To be able to file correct tax reports, make sure the Apply Taxes setting is on. Once you've found the best setup option for you, enable AutoSync, and Cinder will work in the background fully automated, syncing all future transactions. You can also import historical data. Click this option on the Transactions page, Specify the dates needed and choose between importing for review before the bulk sync or synchronizing those sales to zero right away. We recommend to choose the second option only when you're sure all settings are correct and test syncs have worked perfectly. In settings, you can connect as many payment or e-commerce platforms as your client or business needs. Click Add Payment Platform, select the needed one from the list and click Connect. If you have multiple clients or businesses, create a separate organization for each of them. Click the top left corner in Cinder, select Create Organization, and go through all of the steps again. Now you know how to sign up to Cinder, set up your account, and run a test to make sure the system is working properly. Have a good journey with Cinder.